Ready? Welcome to AFC Audi TV. I'm here at uh, Hensford Towns ground after today's 1-1 draw for the Diamonds and uh, probably played the best team we've played uh, for some time. Most definitely. And I'm here with uh, man of the match, uh, Ben Heath. Ben, uh, as I say, the best team this season and probably as good as we played last season. Yeah, definitely. Like, they're definitely the team, I'd say, to beat if you're going to say winning the league. Definitely, they're probably up there. We're definitely one of the favourites, I'd say. And uh, their transition is so quick, isn't it? They, you know, they get the ball like right. They've got two good wingers. Well, they were quite. They were. They liked to play direct, so they were playing straight in, weren't they? Really, and then trying to get out wide and then cause problems in the box. But to be fair, like, in the first half, we dealt with that very well. And then second half, we got a little bit spread, and then obviously they nicked a goal. But did, everyone worked hard, so I can't, yeah. can't fault anyone. And the best start we could possibly get. Um, and Ben Kai's been on a few free kicks. Um, their keeper actually shrugged his shoulders; he didn't even see it. It was in the net. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great free kick. Normally they go into the wall like everyone else has I've seen so far, but that was the that was a perler, as they call it. I was called that a perler. It was a lovely, lovely finish from him. And uh, you then were busy, I think, uh, for that first 25 minutes. A great save on that deflection uh, at the post, and then some blocks, and uh, you were uh, diving all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it felt like I was just bouncing around the goal today. Too. <laughs> but yeah, it was an amazing couple of good saves. Yeah, and I'm happy about that, obviously. And uh, the more the game went on, I thought we were actually we were catching on the break in that first half as well, weren't we? Yeah, we had a, a few chances in the first half on the break that we probably should have capitalised on, and then a couple at the end where we oh, were just saying that we should definitely capitalise on them. We really should score at some, I should have on one of the breaks, really. Yeah, there was a four and two, wasn't there? In the end, and, uh, a good chance. But <coughs> and we always knew that when they came out for the uh, second half, and I presume Pixie said the same that you were always going to be under the cush. Yeah, he said. Uh, when we first come out, make sure we start uh, as well as we did in the first half, and then obviously they were like we were a little bit backs against the wall to start the second half, and then as it went on, we grew into it and got more opportunities like, on the counter attack and stuff. So yeah, we, went, we rode out well. To be fair, it was a good performance from the lads. Yeah, I mean when they got their goal, which is a good move and a good pass. I mean there's not much you could do about no. that, but they didn't push on from there. In fact, we actually uh, uh, got back into the game and looked more dangerous near the end. Yeah, after they scored, we sort of like, turned back on and started. Being, it was more of an even game it seemed to be like in the middle it wasn't really like at one end or the other specifically it was just like in the, more the midfield like game after the it was all level and then obviously we had the counter attack chances which we probably should have scored on maybe one of them that we'd hope to so let's go we start to the season um you probably had the the most competition when Niall joined and the uh, pc uh, chose you um did that help your game to that oh, pressure definitely having the competition obviously the last two seasons I have there hasn't been anyone here so it's just been me really and then Niles come in and definitely pushed me a lot in training and then obviously to perform better week in week out obviously trying to keep my shirt as as they say so yeah it's definitely been a good addition like, for me specifically like pushing me on and everything so yeah and he's a good keeper isn't he yeah he is yeah and the, the very experienced yeah <laughs> That was the bit that was dawning me a bit, a little bit when he came in. To, <laughs> like, with, the, with the experience, I was a bit, a bit on edge about that. But like, yeah, like, so like I said, he's pushed me on a, a lot. So, well, well done, mate. I didn't know you got fined for being man of the match. We apologise, but uh, no, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Here's well done and uh, a good point for the diamonds today. Yeah, it was a very good point. Cheers, buddy. Well done, Ben. And uh, I'm now here with manager Andy Pete. Andy, uh, I know we spoke at Hitchin and uh, disappointed after conceding that late goal and a one-one draw, but uh, a one-one draw here again. It's probably the best team I've seen for uh, a few months. Yeah, no, they were strong. I knew they were going to be very strong. Um, yeah, it's a good point. Um, so we, I've got some good reports and had them watched. Um, and we had a game plan to deal with that. And I thought we dealt with it really, really well. They're very strong, very direct, very good at set pieces. I thought we were excellent to deal with that. And my remit was that we had to be good on the ball. We had to be brave. And again, it's a nice pitch to do that. And I, and I thought we was that as well. I was, I was overall, I was delighted. And a great start. And uh, Ben, we know he's got uh, things in his locker and he pulled out on uh, left foot. Keeper never saw it. No, it's a great finish. Say so it was a foul, blatant foul on uh, Shanks. Um, and yeah, look, great free kick. And it's nice when you come here to get something to keep hold of because obviously they're, they're going to have spells of pressure. We know that. They're a good team. They're at home. Um, when you've got a goal lead, it gives you something even more to keep hold of. And, and yeah, I thought it was a great start for us. And I thought we actually looked the better team for that first 25 minutes. We played some really good stuff in midfield. Uh, caught on the break a couple of times, although I think for the whole game, that final ball wasn't quite good enough, was it? No, I mean, that's, that's where we're at. We've got, you know, looking at the game as a whole, I thought we were really good value for the point. They had some spells of pressure, which they're going to have. Um, we were exciting. You know, I've got a lot of young boys, inexperienced boys in that change room, who for me were exciting to watch. And I've just said, for us to improve as a team, 
we've got to make better decisions in the final third because mm -hmm. we've got some good areas and against teams like this you'd probably need a second goal and the other thing is when they have a spell we have to manage the game a little bit better and you have to be not quite as gun ho then and perhaps tuck in a little bit more and do the, the nasty side of the game but you know we've got young kids in there or people who have stepped up and they're going to learn that they'll only get better and uh, we uh, you made a decision at the start of the season for Ben Heath keeping his place as number one and uh, he deserved his man of the match and he kept us in it in that first half, although I suppose uh, we could have gone in uh, level anyway. Yeah, he made some saves, so I'd expect Ben to do that. That's what you have a keeper for. You know, he, he, he did okay. I've got no problems with him. As you say, it's difficult for Niall because he's another good keeper and he's waiting for his chance. Um, but, you know, I'm not bothered who plays in goals. I just wanted to do the job and Ben certainly done it today. Half-time team talk, uh, difficult, or you knew what was going to come? Oh, yeah, they're always going to have a spell. We're going to have to withstand pressure. We knew that. And I said it was key that when we... What you can't do how you play, you can't just kick the ball the length of the pitch and give it them back. So it was important we were brave and we passed it through the thirds with Hicksie and Slinney, used the wide areas of Nat and Ben, and they did that. We didn't just kick it straight up front because obviously we've got Dovey up front with Shanks, Dovey dropping in at the time, so you know, it's going to keep coming back. Um, so the game plan was good, and I, thought, you know, I, I always want a little bit more in certain areas, of course I do, but overall I thought they managed the game really well. And now you got the goal, I suppose, with the pressure. It was a good move and a good finish. And uh, the one thing I was really impressed with, um, it seems we, in the past we might have collapsed on that, but we didn't. We actually went on and became a more even game and near the end even could have sneaked it. Yeah, they had a really good spell of pressure and we needed to try and keep them out. But like you said, it was how you're going to react then. There was still a long way left. A lot of teams in that situation here, especially, would have rolled over against such a good team. And we did it. And like you said, we had a few minutes after that where they had a few more attempts. But then the longer it went on, we looked more and more dangerous. And again, a little bit better quality in the final third and a little bit better decision making and we probably could have got a second goal. Um, yeah, they had a couple of half chance themselves. Um, but yeah, good game of football, I would think, for the neutral. Um, probably a little bit too open for me. Um, but certainly exciting and, yeah, a good point on the road, I would say. So the league now, we're going to League Cup on Tuesday. Uh, we talk about this often. Um, any thoughts about that yet or is that Sunday's thinking? I'm always thinking about games of football. Um, we'll make some changes. Some people are going to need some minutes. But, you know, I always want to be strong. Um, we're at home. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a decent squad out there. Um, as we see today, we haven't got loads of bodies at the moment because we've got some injuries. Um, so there's not going to be massive changes. There might be a couple of introductions to freshen it up, um, you know, within the club. Um, but yeah, another game we look forward to. And when we spoke a couple of weeks ago, I know you were still looking to strengthen the squad. Still looking? I'm always looking. I'll always be looking to the last game of the season, John. That's how it has to be to put pressure on the boys in there. And I always want better. You know, that's how I work. You know, we've got a budget to work, with, you know, means to work with. So you can't go extortionate, but. If the right player becomes available, then yeah, we'll certainly be in for him. And uh, we're looking good on the Cooper, aren't we, for score draws? Yeah, well, no, yeah. <laughs> I think that's another one of third or fourth in a row. Um, it shows, you know, we're, we're hard to beat at the moment. That's important. And some of these points are good points. We're playing some good teams. Um, and like you said, we've got some young kids out there, you know, who've not played at the level. And, and they're bonding well. And I, th I think it's, you know, the future's bright for them. And two home games to come in the league. Yeah, two home games to come. So we've got to do well. I mean, there's not going to be many tougher places to come than here, I wouldn't say. I thought it was on a par with your Kings Lins and etc last year so yeah good but again as I said to the boys before the start when you get it, these are the sort of places you want to be playing that's the level of football we're at now um, and you only enjoy these places if you're in the game and we were in it right through to the last minute which was key you don't want to be out of it because then they're not, not places to be and you know this is the sort of place the club wants to be back at in my opinion agreed oh well done mate be a, a good drive home it'll be a good drive home thanks a lot cheers mate